Yo guys, Kev here at Kev RC. Today's little video is about my little RC car collection. First one, you've seen videos of this one before. This is my Traxxas X Max, the nice one. Traxxas X Max, the beta. HBI Savage Nitro. Kyosho Mad Force Nitro. Schumacher MI6 Touring Car. Cat K2 Buggy. FTX Ibex Rock Crawler. This one here is a Team CT8, T, I think it's called. And the Schumacher GT12. Right, let's go through them in a little bit more detail. Right, I've just cleared them off the bench. Right, guys, so first X Max. This is the brand new one, not been run yet. More of a display one, looking nice one. It will get some bashing. There will, will be some videos coming up soon. But pretty much both this one here and this one here is the Destruction X Max, the beta. Pretty much same spec. Max 6 ESC in both of them. So we can run 8S. And yep, that is a standard motor there. Does it take it? Uh, kinda. If you don't let it get too hot, I've, on the first time I tried it, I literally ran it for about, I think 30 minutes non-stop. And I melted the first motor. All the solder melted inside of it. And that was it. So if you keep an eye on the temps, so far I've had pretty good luck and it's lasted. Um, will yours last? I don't know. <laughs> Do it at your own risk, guys. So let's check out my other videos if you want to see more on this X Max. There's a few videos of putting this one together. Uh, this one here, there's also a few videos, so I'm not going to go into too much. <laughs> Same spec as the other one, Max 6, ESC, ah, RPM wise, I tried some RPM arms on this one just to give it a little review, and if you check my last video there's a bit more info on that, but as you can see, look. <laughs> ripped out of here because the arms flex so much it just pulled that pin out and the same happened on that side so I'm not happy about that and then what's happened on the top look because the top arms must be stronger than the standard Traxxas ones I don't know if you can see that on the camera I'll try and zoom in a bit there for you out here it's, it's, it's split all the plastic, so I'm going to have to replace all these shock towers now and that black diff cover thing that goes on there I've never had that happen before in the standard Traxxas arms so not really too happy about that, that's going to be a pain in the ass to fix that one uh, I will try these arms on the back to see what happens, probably the same I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to rip it out of here again so I think what I'm probably going to do on this one is go back to the standard arms and not recommend the RPM arms. Right. Next up we have... This is my HPI Savage. Had this thing for years, it's nitro. I've not run it for ages. I don't even know what's going on under here. I've not had a look for a while. Uh, it needs servos, yep. This servo's dead. So it needs two servos. I've nicked the steering servo out of it for something else. 
But this is this is a quite a lot of upgrades done to this one. We've got LRP 32, loads of power, and I've had to beef all the gearbox up. Double shocks, um, RPM arms on this are actually good. They've caused me no problems at all. Got the stronger hinge pin braces. What else we got on there? Ah, Integi rear knuckles or hub carriers, whatever you want to call them. So, I think that's that. So I will get that going at, at some point. Put a couple of new servos in there and, ooh, look at that fuel. That's, that fuel's been in there, I don't know, probably over a year now. So, hmm. Right, next we have, let's go with this one. This is my, you've seen this on some of my other videos. Maybe not with this body shell. Maybe not with this body shell. I had an old rock crawler body on here, just that's all I had laying around at the time. Thing's quite a beast. We're running HBI Vors or electrics, so it can take 6s. It's geared to t probably do about 80 mile an hour when we're going to do some GPS speed runs soon, so we'll see how fast it really goes. But this is a Team CT80 race truggy. It does take a beating, but the problem that I had with this one was the bearings in the wheel, the wheel bearings were so thin. Like every time I took it out, it was doing wheel bearings. So I've put car show arms on it now with standard, more standard size bearings. So that's made it better. So more videos coming up with that one. Uh, these are the racers. So we'll come to them last. Little Ibex Rock Crawler. I've done a couple of videos of this if you want to see that. Brilliant toy for indoors. Really do enjoy playing with that. That's good. Next up, we have the Mad Force Nitro. This one, what we got inside? I think it's just pretty much bog standard. I bought this one second hand a couple of years ago. Free speed gearbox. So, yep, yeah, I think that works actually. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Last time I took it out, I tried jumping it on the skateboard ramp. And I don't think these are really strong enough for that sort of abuse because it snapped all the axle parts and drive shafts. So I've just fixed that up. So we'll give that another out in at some point. Right, this one here is a Wheelie King. It was a bit of a mix between a few bits and bobs, but it sort of started out as a Wheelie King. Put on longer four link bars to lengthen the wheelbase a little bit. Some homemade anti roll bars. Stop it leaning a bit like that. Brushless conversion. It can run 3S, even though I've not tried it on 3S yet. Um, put, actually, on this thing, we put on rear wheel steer. So it's got front and rear steer. And it's controlled off of an RC helicopter remote. So I might do another video about that at some point if anyone's interested. All right, on to the racers. I'm, I'm not really that much of a racer fan, really. I'm more of a basher. But English winters, they're pretty crap sometimes. And it's just no fun going out there and all the wet and cold and mud and fog and all that stuff. So to get me RC fix, I'll do a bit of indoor touring car racing. But it's nice and warm. And still get out and about and play with the RCs. So uh, this is a, it's a um, Schumacher MI6 Hobby Wing Speed Controller. Uh, Trinity 24K motor. Uh, Samra Electrics. And that's about that. Uh, the next racer is a Schumacher Cat K2, 
And this one I've only used it once because the only track local to me is an outdoor track. And and like in the summer, I'm more of a basher and in the winter, well, I don't want to go outside anyway really that much. So I'll just waste a touring car. So I've used it once so far. I will use it more probably next year when the weather gets a bit better. Uh, and I don't really know much about it. My buddy put it together. So that's what that is. And last but not least, I don't know much about this one either. I've only used this one once because I bought it second hand off someone. And I don't really know much about it really. It's a Schumacher GT12, the old one. Uh, and that's it really. That, they are my RCs. If you want to see a bit more of these races, then my buddy's got a channel, um, RC Vision, and he records all this sort of stuff on the indoor racing. So if you want to see more of that, he's got all this, this sort of stuff on his channel and more of this sort of stuff. Well, my channel's more of a bashing channel, so on my channel, you'll get more of this sort of stuff like that. Right, so there you have it, guys. If you liked my video, hit the subscribe button. Also, let me know in the comments what RC you want to see more of. Because at the moment, most of my stuff's all been sort of x Max related, mainly. And I know some of you guys will probably want to see some of these other cars. This one's been on a few of my videos. But apart from that, all the other ones haven't, so let me know what videos you want to see more of. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and see you later. <laughs>